Yeah. Poke with a sword. Boss battle time. So, we've got our four party members back, and we're going to take on the Black Waltz number two. But in the last episode, we learned that the people of this village... Oh, hold on. The people of this village were manufacturing black mages. Now, I mean, you can think maybe... Um, They'd be doing that because black mages, well, I mean, they were being shipped back to Alexandria Castle. Why would anyone do that? Who'd want to create black mages? Well, I mean, black mages, they're clearly powerful individuals. Vivi's able to cast some powerful magic and uses the child. This one is even more powerful. And, I mean, as long as they... I'm just saying, militarily, they're very useful weapon. Now, like all boss battles in this game, I'm probably going to spend a fair amount of time going and um, keeping... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I got my crap. We've got more than just fire. Let's throw fun thunder at him. Let's take this guy down. I stole from him twice. Black Waltz, to tell you the truth, the Black Waltzes are not incredibly uh, dangerous enemies. <laughs> so we can take this guy down pretty easily, I think. Down he goes. No experience points.
let's depart now. Because, I mean, the airship will not leave without us or anything like that. But, uh, we want to get this going. He's going to commandeer the ship, isn't he? God, this guy. little bastard. Now, there are black mages on here, and these ones, I suppose it's like they're running around and stuff, but it seems as though they're just sort of like automatons, you know? Lindblom apparently uh, builds all the mist engines. Apparently an old airship that um, was sold to Alexandria a long time ago.
Yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> Time to hijack this thing. What a douche. <laughs> 